Hello scientific people, how are you all? So in this video, we are going to derive the mirror formula for the spherical mirrors using a concave mirror. And in part B of this video, we are going to derive the same mirror formula with the help of the convex mirror. And we are also going to see that why the sign conventions are applied twice during the entire process, once during the derivation, once during the application of uh, the formula while solving the numericals. So here we have an object in front of a concave mirror and i have kept the object beyond c so its real and inverted image is formed between f and c okay and for this i have taken one ray parallel to principal axis so after reflection it will pass through focus another directly strikes the pole and in that case the principal axis becomes the normal and then at the same angle the reflected ray bounces back below the principal axis so these two angles are equal right now, for, we have made a very small construction by dropping a small perpendicular line from point M that is on the mirror that is point of incidence from the principal axis and I have called this perpendicular distance as Mn which is actually equal to the height of the object AB. Alright. Now, this N point is very very close to the pole of the mirror. So, while measuring any distances like PF which is the focal length, I can also call pf and nf as one and the same because this distance is negligible now we are going to take two pairs of triangle one is a b p and a dash b dash p so a dash b dash p this is one triangle and that is similar to the another triangle that is a b p please note that write the two triangles in sequence uh, B and B dash are equal, then these two angles are equal and the third angle has to be equal to the third angle of the another triangle. Okay. So, from here what can we say is A dash B dash upon AB is equal to B dash P upon BP. Okay. And let me substitute the value of B dash P. So, B dash P is basically this distance and which is equal to the image distance, right? Because this image is formed between F and C. So, this B dash is the base of the real image and P dash B is the image distance V divided by B P is the object distance from P to B is the object distance U, okay? Now, we are going to take another two pairs of triangles that is A dash B dash F and then M and F, these two pairs of triangles are also similar because these two are vertically opposite angles. This is 90 degree, this whole angle is 90 degree. So, the third angle has to be equal to the third angle. So, what am I going to write is triangle A dash B dash F is similar to triangle here A dash, so here M here B dash, so here N and then F is same for both the triangles, okay. So, now again A dash B dash upon MN that is equal to B dash F upon NF, okay. So, I am going to substitute the value of B dash F. Now, this B dash F is this whole distance minus this distance. So, B dash F is basically P B dash minus P F. So, P B dash is the image distance and P F is the focal length. So, I can write down this as V minus F upon N F is basically same as P F which is the focal length. Now, you can see that this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2. So, from here A dash B dash upon AB is this and A dash B dash upon MN, by the way MN and AB are one and the same, right, these two are one and the same. So, these two are equal, so these two must be the same. So, which means I can equate this as the following. So, V upon U is equal to V minus F upon X, okay. So, this can be written as V upon U is equal to V upon F minus F upon F. 
so that is v upon u that is v upon f minus 1 i'm going to take this on the this side so v upon u plus 1 is equal to v upon f okay now in this case i'm going to divide both sides by v right so i'm going to multiply both sides by 1 by v and here also 1 by v and opening the bracket these two gets cancelled so 1 upon u plus 1 upon v is equal to this gets cancelled so 1 upon f now see this is our final derivation but we need to apply sign convention since we are measuring the object distance from pole to the object which is against the direction of the incident ray so u becomes negative so i am going, simply going to write down 1 upon f now f is also negative see from here to here f is negative v is negative and u is negative so that means all distances are negative in this particular case so 1 upon v minus 1 upon u minus so cancelling again we get the same equation so 1 upon f that is 1 upon u plus 1 upon v this is our final mirror equation so this is our mirror formula and this mirror formula is applicable to all kind of mirrors right convex mirror concave mirror and in part two of the video we are going to derive the same expression using the convex mirror also now magnification is the ratio of height of the object to the height of the image now magnification is represented by m which is height of the image upon height of the object so for that what am i going to do is i am going to consider these two triangles that is a b p and a dash b dash p so i have already written these things over here so a dash b dash upon a b a dash b dash upon a b that is equal to b dash p upon b p now b dash p upon b p is v by u now a dash b dash is height of the image that is this one h i and i'm going to call a b s height of the object h o so this is h i upon h o that is again equal to v by u and since this is one new formula so we will have to apply the sign conventions once again now all distances below the principal axis are negative so in this case h i will be negative this one and h o will be positive because it is above principal axis now v and u both are negative so which means h i upon h o is simply equal to this goes on the other side minus v by u this is the formula for magnification and you can use this for any kind of mirror that is convex or concave 